In this video lesson, you'll discover what the simultaneous contrast is and how to use it in watercolor painting. The simultaneous contrast is not objective, it is subjective. It is not something that can be photographed. For any given color, the eye simultaneously requires the complementary color. If this complementary color is not represented, the human brain will generate it. The difference between light and dark greys on the dark background is not as big as on the white background. Such visual change of tonal values is called the simultaneous contrast on lightness. Let's see how applicable it is in real life. For example, here is a white cube. I am placing two grey squares on its top and side panels. The tonal values of these two swatches look very similar. However, if we remove the cube, you will see that one swatch is much lighter than another.